Judy, what are you doing here? Where did you get this? I, I was the one who took it, not Tamara. I wanted to help my mom. I'm so, so sorry. I guess I can go to LA after all. I'm so glad you even left yet. I have something for Ryan I want you to take. What is this? It's the movie. I wanted y'all to be able to watch it together. Aw, thanks, TK. Too bad I'm not going. You're not? No, it's too complicated, and I don't even know if it's worth it. Of course it is. You'll get to see your sister. Yeah, but I don't know if she wants me there. Of course she does. Take it from me. Our big sisters act tough, but they want us there. If you get the chance to see her, you should take it. Hi, I'm Harmony. Ram's sister? Oh, I'm Eva, her roommate. Is Rhyme here? I came to surprise her, but I called and no answer. <laughs> she broke her phone the other day doing basket tosses, so you won't be able to reach her. I think she's by the pool with some of the other kids from the program. Well, now I feel dumb. <laughs> hey, you're not dumb. You actually seem really sweet. You just have bad timing. Your sister's pretty popular. And to be honest, I haven't seen her all summer and I share a dorm with her. I can't believe I thought this was a good idea. I don't even know what I'm doing here. Okay, no, take a deep breath. Come on, let's just go find her. You don't mind? No, I was supposed to FaceTime my friend Benny, but I'm sure he'll understand. This is a family emergency. Thank you. Of course. Oh, <laughs> come on. What if Lim isn't excited to see me? Are you kidding me? She'll be thrilled. I don't know. We kind of had a big fight before she left. That's just how sisters are. Y'all will get over it. I hope so. Harmony? <gasps> what are you doing here? I came to surprise you. Well, I'm surprised. Oh, um, these are my friends Brad and Ashley. Guys, this is my sister. How did you find us? Why didn't you call me? I tried. I told you to get that phone fixed. You're right. Okay, I've been meaning to do that. Thank you for getting her here. You're welcome. Your sister's really cool. <laughs> I know. I'll catch up with you guys later, okay? Wow, I still can't believe you're here. Why didn't you tell me you were coming? I was afraid you'd tell me not to. What do you mean? You didn't seem to have any time for me this year, and you seem pretty busy here too. I just didn't want to slow you down. You're not slowing me down at all. Honestly, I've been feeling really bad about how we left off. Me too. And I'm sorry that I said you weren't a chicken girl. You're like the original chicken girl. I prefer OG chicken girls. At least that's what Kayla likes to call us. I just don't want you to forget about me. But I could never forget about you. You're my sister, I love you. You're stuck with me forever. Come on, I'll introduce you to everybody. What are you doing over here? I just needed a quick breather. Rhyme has introduced me to three separate Ashleys. <laughs> it's definitely a lot, but I know she's glad to have you here. If my sisters could get away from their various Crown Lake activities, I'd want them here too. Wait, you're from Crown Lake? Yeah. Why? Do you know the Hansons, Judy and Tamara? Yeah, my dad was on the traditions committee with their mom. So you know about the... Mm-hmm. It was kept pretty hush-hush at the club. What exactly happened? I never got the full story. Well, from what I heard, Mr. Hansen made some pretty bad business deals and left the family completely bankrupt. 
And then his wife started stealing from the club. Wow. I know. And then the dad completely skipped town, leaving poor Miss Hanson to clean up all his mess. Boys are the worst. Seriously. And she was just doing the best she could. I don't think she wanted to hurt anyone. She just had a family to protect. I kind of feel bad for her. Judy and Tamara, too. They deserved better than what they got. They really did. So, oh, what's been bothering you? I can tell some things up. Boy drama? What? No. OK, then what is it? It's the chicken girls. Oh, what happened? Well, you see, me and the rest of the girls were saving up to go to LA together. Only my money was stolen. Your friend stole your money? What? No, it wasn't them. Basically. Everything got out of control, and it turns out that we were all hiding stuff from each other. And it blew up in our faces. I'm sorry, Harm. I know what it's like. It turns out that we're just not as good as friends as we thought. You know, don't, don't say that. Just because you got into one fight does not mean that you aren't friends. It wasn't just one fight. It was like a lot of secrets that we've been keeping from each other for a long time. Sometimes when people are keeping secrets, it means that they're keeping something from themselves. It has nothing to do with you. So just be there for them and they'll come to you when they need you. Yeah, I never thought about it that way. All right, come on, enough of that. Let's go dance. I'm really glad that you're having fun this summer. I'm, I mean, you're my sister and all, but I'm really proud of you. Me? Why? Well, because the last time we were here, you were crushing over TK and basically avoiding him at all cost. Don't remind <laughs> me. <laughs> but now you're in high school, and you've been in a school play, and you were the editor-in-chief on the paper, and now you're back in LA, and you're at cheer camp. You know, you've never been afraid to start something new. <laughs> I mean. No, seriously. You make me want to be brave, too. Oh, speaking of TK, he gave me this to give to you. It's his movie. Oh. What does it say? It is a reminder to stay true to myself. He's worried that now that I'm in LA, I'm gonna go all Hollywood diva on him. I will report back to him and tell them that there's no diva behavior. Yeah. So, what is this movie about? PK and I play race car driver siblings, and we almost get torn apart because how far away we are. I think I learned a thing or two from that character. You know, it's kind of crazy to think back on how much we've both grown up. I mean, look at you. You're about to start eighth grade, and you have your own chicken girls. I guess. No, I don't think you give yourself enough credit. I mean, you are the smartest kid I know. And you're loyal, you're funny. Everybody is really lucky to have you. Tell that to my friends. I think it's better if you tell them yourself. And sooner, rather than later. You're probably right. Can I borrow your computer? I think I might need a dress. Yeah. Sorry to cut the trip short. That's OK, I get it. You need to be with your friends right now. Thanks, Ray. Of course. No matter how far apart we are, you'll always be my sister. I love you. I love you too. I'm gonna miss you. You too. But I'll see you soon. And in the meantime, you're just a phone call away. Anytime you need me. <laughs> Bye. Anytime you need me. Next week on Chicken Girls. Something else go missing? Or are you here to accuse me of another crime? So I thought I should take a leap of faith. Maybe something good may happen. Hey, you look nice. Thanks. So do you.